Welcome ladies, I'm very excited about today's detailed video where I am sharing with you things to consider when wearing or purchasing a fall and winter dress coat. We will not be talking about the casual coat in this video because I kind of feel like when you are wearing jeans or you're very scaled back, it's somewhat of a no-brainer. You really can't mess up what you are wearing over top as your coat. But when it comes to dressing up, one of the biggest mistakes that I see women make, especially young girls, and we'll talk a little bit more about this, but the mistake that they make is they wear an inappropriate coat with the outfit they are wearing. It just does not go. They could be dressed up for a night out and then they have a casual coat on. And one of the reasons for this is, let's face it, when we are on a limited budget and we're going to spend some money on apparel, clothing, put an outfit together, who really wants to spend their money on a coat? I know when I was younger, I was that young 20-something, later teens, probably even late 20s, where I really did not have the appropriate dress coat for the occasion. I would go to a wedding reception in fall or winter and often I wouldn't even wear a coat, which even looks a little bit more tacky because I didn't have the proper dress coat. I was on a more limited budget at that time and when I, when I purchased clothing, I just didn't want to spend my money on a coat. I am sure many of you that are younger that are watching can relate. And frankly, some women my age could also relate. And that's why I'm here today is to help you to get you started. If you don't have a coat wardrobe, where do you begin? What do you purchase? And what do you look for? So I am going to be sharing eight things to look for when you are shopping for a fall or winter coat. Now, where I live, it's starting to get pretty cold. We will very quickly be into winter coats because of the climate here. But many of you do not get such a severe temperature drop during the winter and your fall coat may be able to carry you through. So you are just going to take what I share today and apply it to you. You will see a lot of footage and photos of me in the different coats that are in my coat wardrobe. Let me share with you that this has been a wardrobe that has been built over time. I started with one and every year I generally will add a new piece to my coat wardrobe. I am not encouraging anyone to do that unless that is what you want to do. But we'll talk about where to begin if you are just starting out and if you have the basics already, where you could go from there. Before we dive into the eight things to look for in a coat, let me share with you that there will be plenty of links in the drop down box below this video with options for you to choose from. All the coats that I am wearing today in the video and in the photos, I believe all of them are old. I will have similar ones linked. There may be one that is available this year because it is a new purchase this year, and I will indicate that, but just recognize that all my coats are going to probably not be available, but I'm going to have plenty of options for you to choose from. Also, my outfit and beauty details of today will also be linked in the drop-down box or on the corresponding blog post. Often I will run out of room in the drop-down box to put all the links in, so I highly suggest that you click on the very top link which says corresponding blog post, you will see all of the photos there and you will get additional links there as well. All right, eight things to look for in a coat. Tip number one, go with the classics. A knee length or wool topper with a tailored fit is a true classic that will not go out of style. The specific shape is up to you. Double breasted, belted, or robe styles are all enduring picks. Choose one that flatters your body shape. Bear in mind that a long coat is going to be more dressy than a short coat. And I will have a couple different post 
linked in the drop down as well as on the corresponding blog post that will help you with determining what style is going to suit your body type best. Tip number two, think investment. If you live in a cold weather climate, like I do, your coat could be your biggest purchase of the season, so budget accordingly. Be willing to go on a few shopping trips to find the perfect one. A coat is a rare garment from which you can demand perfection. Yeah, this is not an area where you want to skimp. I do feel like there is a return on investment ROI when you are purchasing a coat. Again, that would be why choosing a classic is always going to serve you better versus a trendy coat. Uh, if you have the budget to have a variety and go with something trendy, then by all means do so. But your, your safe bet is always a classic. And yes, you may have to spend a little bit more money on that but look at it as an ROI. Number three, make it a close fit. You want the closest fit possible. Higher armholes, for instance, are always better than billowing ones, but you also want to pay attention that the coat gives you absolutely no difficulty in getting it on and off or buttoning it. Number four, look behind. Don't forget the rear view, ladies. Some shape to a coat is good, but you should never see an outline of proverbial junk in the trunk. The coat should glide over any problem areas and have movement in the back. Number five, watch for drape. A coat should not only button easily across your chest, it should also fall in a straight line from the lowest button to the bottom hem. A sign that it's well cut and has ample fabric to suit your hips. Number six, check the hem. Do you wear skirts or dresses a lot? Take into account not only how they will look with the length of the coat you're buying, but also how the proportion and shape of the coat will work with them. We will talk a little bit more about the hem after I go through the tips. Number seven, factor in layers. Consider the clothes you'll typically wear underneath your coat. If you need the coat to cover a suit jacket, I would recommend that you bring one with you when you shop because that could determine if you're in between sizes, which one you're going to go with. Also big bulky sweaters, that could pose the same issue. Layering is another thing to take into consideration when choosing your coat. And number eight, take a seat. Finally, your coat must sit well. <laughs> so button it up and park yourself in the dressing room. Do you have two laps? Do the closures pull? They shouldn't. Some of these things people never even think of. Walking in the coat is important. Sitting in the coat is important. Again, this is an investment piece. You don't want to mess this up. Uh, if this is if you're shopping on foot, you can do these things. You are a little bit more at a disadvantage if you order coats online. I tend to be that person that orders a whole bunch in, I try them all on, and then I determine. But it's important to look in the mirror, look at the back view, sit in it, walk in it, put a few outfits on that you would generally be wearing, put the coat on, see how it fits. Don't forget to put the arms out in front of you as well, especially if you are wearing something bulky. Again, I had mentioned the suit jacket, putting on your blazer. You'll want to make sure that you put that on, put the coat on, and then see how it feels when you put your arms out in front of you. The other thing, I say this all the time, have a good tailor. Pretty much everything that I purchase that is of great quality and a classic goes to my tailor. Yes, even my coats. Because again, when you're bustier like I am, but then you're smaller everywhere else, I have to purchase a coat that is going to button well across my chest. And I do have a particular coat, and you may even pick it up in the footage, that I really probably should have went with a bigger size because it really does not fit me super well here. I love the coat. I picked it up at H&M years ago. And yeah, if I could go back, I would have gotten a larger size and then maybe taken it to my tailor. So really, really pay attention. Again, this is going to cost you some money, so it's worth it to use some discernment. All right, let's talk about a couple scenarios. Let's say that you don't have a coat wardrobe, you don't have a dress coat, where do you begin? Well, I really believe that you'll never go wrong with black. Black is a classic, it will go with everything. 
It's never going to go out of style, believe me. Black would be the first choice. Now, not everyone looks great in black. Let's say you are a spring as far as your seasons. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a video titled Wearing Your Best Colors. We all fall into one of the four seasons. For example, I am a winter, and there are some variations even in each season. But I do have a video how to wear your best colors. I will link it up in the corner. It will also be in the drop down. That will help you. Generally, if you are a spring, black is not going to be a flattering color on you. I still would recommend you go with a black coat. But what you would want to do is take your black coat and throw a scarf over top that is in a color that flatters you. Now, if, if, <laughs> if you could wear these two colors, then you can wear a black coat because winter's Anyone who's a winter can wear black. Regardless, you know what colors look best on you. You would want to choose a scarf in a solid or a print that is a flattering color for you and that will break up that black and not make you look so washed out. But let's talk about the different coat lengths when it comes to your dress coat. We have the short length and that is going to fall just below your bottom. Now, this one is going to be the least dressiest. So if you're just starting out and you want to have a dress coat, I don't know that I would go with a short coat. Now let's talk about the mid-length coat. This one's going to be a little bit longer. You can see in the photos here that it comes down further than your bottom. So it's called a mid-length. This is probably the most popular dress coat. There's a lot of reasons for that. It depends on what you're wearing, but this coat will work with almost every dressy outfit unless it's a dress or skirt. So if you are someone that rarely, if ever, wears a dress or skirt, then you would probably make a safe call by purchasing a mid-length coat in black. That would be your first coat. Now again, this is for the beginner who is just starting out and is wondering what is going to be my first purchase. Mid-length black will serve you well. Now, if you do wear a lot of dresses and skirts, then I may push you into what we call the long coat. And the long coat obviously is very long. You can see them in the photos and the footage. I have several long coats. The reason for that is I love the long coat. I feel it's the most chic, feminine, and elegant. So I just, I'm drawn to the long coat over any other. I, the small coat doesn't really appeal to me much. I do have a couple, but the mid-length is fine, but I love the long coat. Now, when I wear dress trousers, I love the long coat with that as well. Now, if I am wearing more of like a skinny tight dress pant, I'm generally going to go with more of my mid-length over top of my long, but not always. It just depends on how it looks for the outfit. If I'm doing all white and I throw a camel coat on over top and it's an, a long, elegant coat, that's going to look so chic and very fashionable. The reason I probably wouldn't recommend going with a short coat is I feel like, what are you really going to wear that with? Because if you're going super casual and you're wearing jeans or black skinnies and it's a very casual outfit with booties, then you may as well just go with your fall or winter casual jacket. You really don't even need to tap into a dress coat. But if you're younger and you would want to wear a dress coat, that is when maybe you could go with a shorter version. Again, especially if you don't wear dresses or skirts. But the safe bet is going to be the mid-length, but I'm going to tell you, if you wear a dress or skirt, especially a dress if it's longer, the mid-length isn't really going to look that great. You're, you're going to look much more elegant, chic, classy in the long, elegant coat. I, I assure you, you're never going to go wrong with it. I really believe everyone needs that. But again, if you can only purchase one, I'm trying to steer you in the right direction. So take what I'm saying, determine how it applies to you and what you wear, and that will gauge whether you're going to go with a black mid-length or the long the long coat in black. And again, you may need to pair it with some type of scarf. The other thing I want to tell you is that if you really want to jazz up a coat, let's say you have a fall coat. You will see I have a black one in some of the footage. 
that is not very long and it's more of like a it'd be like a spring or fall coat and i love this coat and it takes me through the fall when it when the when the conditions aren't too bad but if you wanted to dress that up because let's say you are getting a little more dressed up you can buy these little fur wraps that have a little hole in it and basically you wrap it around and you just put this like that you can get these in solids you can get them in a print like i have here a lot of mine were picked up at Target or Walmart, so you don't have to have to spend a lot of money on these, but they're great and it can give a pop of color. So I definitely recommend that. I will try to find some and link them as well. Now, let's say you already have the black coat and you're ready to add something to your coat wardrobe. You will never, ever go wrong with camel. Camel is so chic. I, I love camel. Um, again, it's going to be a classic. Spend a little money here. Go with something that is classic fit, which the fitted coat is always going to be the most classic look. Um, but a lot of people do like that looser fit as well. I would just say that always remember more fitted is going to be more dressy. But the camel coat would always be my second option. Winter white, I think that's going to be my purchase of this year. I'll insert a photo here of the one I'm eyeing, I, I believe that's going to be the coat I'm going to purchase this year. Number one, I wear a lot of monochromatic winter white outfits. I've shared that in the past in the summer. I even do monochromatic, just stark white. So that's on my, my list for this year, but that would be another great one. But now let's say you're ready to expand into color. And I love that. And I've certainly tapped in. But again, I have built up my coat wardrobe over the years. So now I can pull in some colors. Probably my favorite one, the number one I would recommend, although I don't have it. It's also on my bucket list. Maybe I could ask for one for Christmas. Red. Red. You will never fail with red. Again, so classic. Everyone looks good in red. Find the proper red, whether you're cool toned, like a winter or a summer, you're going to want to go with a more blue undertone, vibrant red. If you are a spring or a fall, you're going to look for the more warmer tones of the red, but everyone can wear a red. Wearing a red coat over top of an all black outfit just screams everything, <laughs> just everything. Yes, definitely, I think I need to get a red coat. What do you think? <laughs> Make that Christmas list. So yeah, red would always be one. Royal blue, beautiful, beautiful wool coat in royal blue. It just would be stunning. Um, you can go with your burgundies, aubergine, plum, berry tones, love all of that. I have this beautiful wine colored one. I like to call it Merlot, just a stunner. So many people have asked me where I got this coat and it's been a couple years, I don't have it. I, I, it's not available any longer, but I love it with the fur on it. This coat, it, it fits me like a glove and everything about it is perfection. So work hard to find that same type of coat for you, that perfection that you're looking for. It'll be so worth it. You'll be so thankful you have it when you need it. When I get really gussied up, I almost always go to this one. I don't have a long black coat, but I have enough other black coats to serve my needs. So if I get really dressed up, I go for this, this long, more aubergine plum color that just looks phenomenal on me. Another great color that I just thought of, if let's say you have blonde hair and you're lighter skinned, is the pale pinks. Um, soft pink, those are going to look great. They would look great on me as well, but I really feel like if you're very fair skin and blonde, that, that would be a great option for you. Earth tones are great as well. You can go with your taupes. A beautiful monochromatic taupe outfit is just going to look so chic and classy. Grays, uh, tweeds, anything like that, a lot of it is really determining on what flatters your skin tone, your hair, and your eye color. And a lot of that really is what season do you fall into. But don't think for a minute that you have to shy away from the black coat. It's just what you accessorize with it. My last tip, and <laughs> I just grabbed this out of my drawer. There is literally hair on it. <laughs> please, 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 please invest. <laughs> Not that it's a huge investment. 
in a lint roller. You are going to need it, especially if you have a black wool coat. Keep one in your home, and by golly, I hope all of you have one in your car. And I'll be honest, you can get the smaller ones, that would be more compact for your car, but I feel like the larger ones with a wool coat are going to work much better. So get a good size one. I'll link one below that you can pick up. Pick up two because you need one for in the home, one for in the car. You may need one for your husband's car if you take that sometimes. Whatever you need to do. He's going to need it as well because he's going to be wearing a wool coat too. But uh, definitely have your lint roller handy because you will need it. Well, there you have it fall and winter coat guide, what to look for when shopping, uh, what's going to flatter you the most. Be sure to check out everything in the drop down because like I said, a couple articles, so many options to choose from. If you're on the fence, order two sizes in each coat just to make sure you nail it because it's all, of, all about the proper fit. Get a tailor if you need to. If this is an investment piece, you're going to have it forever. And yeah, I, I got you started if you needed a starting point. And if you're already there, I gave you a lot of tips and tools to expand and build your coat wardrobe. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you soon in the next video. Take care.